to Swachla Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Reactive oxygen species and oxidative stress are crucial concepts in understanding male infertility. These are associated with male and female, but we're looking at the role of these two components in male infertility. Let's delve into each one of these aspects in detail. Reactive oxygen species, also called as ROS, ROS, are chemically reactive molecules containing oxygen that have one or more unpaid electrons in their outer shell. This unpaid electron makes them highly reactive and capable of causing damage to cells and biomolecules. Common examples include superoxide anion, hydrogen peroxide, hydroxyl radical and uh, singlet O2. ROS reactive oxygen species are naturally generated during various metabolic processes in the body including the mitochondria's electron transport chain, immune system responses and enzyme reactions. Let's look at the role of ROS in normal physiology. While excessive ROS can be harmful, they also play a very essential role in normal physiological processes such as cell signaling. ROS are involved in cell signaling pathways that regulate processes like cell growth and immune responses. They also play a role as a defense against pathogens. Immune cells use ROS to destroy invading microorganisms. ROS are generated as byproducts during energy production in mitochondria, so they are important in cellular respiration. Oxidative stress can occur when there is an imbalance between the production of reactive oxygen species and the body's ability to neutralize or detoxify them with antioxidants. Excessive ROS production or a deficiency in antioxidants can lead to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress results in oxidative damage to cellular components including lipids, proteins, DNA. Now let's look at the role in male infertility. In the context of male infertility, ROS can have detrimental effects on sperm health and function. ROS can cause breaks and mutations in sperm DNA leading to genetic abnormalities in offspring or infertility also. ROS induced damage to the sperm's tail can impair its ability to swim effectively. ROS can damage sperm's outer membrane, reducing the ability of the sperm to penetrate the egg and bring about fertilization. Excessive ROS levels in males can also be linked to various factors including infections, varicoceles, smoking, environmental toxins and age. Let's look at how to evaluate. To assess oxidative stress in male infertility, various tests can be conducted including measuring ROS levels, antioxidant levels, markers of sperm damage such as DNA fragmentation, etc. Managing oxidative stress in male infertility may involve several strategies such as lifestyle modifications, quitting smoking, reducing alcohol intake, and maintaining a healthy diet rich in antioxidants can definitely contribute to bringing down the ROS levels. Antioxidant supplements can also be taken which include vitamin C, E, selenium, coenzyme, CoQ and others also to enhance the body's defense against ROS. There are some surgical interventions also. Treating underlying conditions contributing to oxidative stress like varicoceles required surgical interventions which can bring down the levels of ROS. Lifestyle changes such as reducing stress, getting regular exercise, practicing relaxation techniques can also help manage oxidative stress. Now understanding the role of ROS and oxidative stress in male fertility is critical for diagnosing and managing fertility issues in men. And if we address oxidative stress through appropriate interventions and lifestyle changes, definitely sperm quality can be improved and we can increase the chances of conception that a couple is facing due to male infertility. To understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.